Hello Akitsu users, um, uh, today I just want to show you how to make a, a basic twist joints uh, on your characters. Um, so let's start. Um, I will use the Elise demo character to, to do this. Um, so you can open the character when you, you just launch Akitsu by clicking on, on the, the, this line with uh, Elise. Okay. So it will open up the, the character, or uh, if you if you didn't uh, saw this, you can still go um, in uh, the C um, drive hard drive, then in users uh, public, so not your name, um, public documents Akitsu templates Elise, and then you can open the Elise file. Um, please note also that uh, in this folder as well as the, in uh, the SkySurfer folder you've got pretty neat uh, PBR maps, uh, PBR textures if you want to uh, render uh, your animations uh, uh, those you, you done with um, uh, these characters if you want to, to make cool renders uh, in Marmoset Toolback for example or um, Unreal Engine or Unity uh, you can use these maps to have um, beautiful renders of these characters. Uh, here you have a text file that just explains how to use these textures uh, since they are uh, quite complex at some point. So, yeah. Uh, so you can open the character from here if you want to just drag and drop the, the, the file in the in Akitsu and, and you're done. Um, I will just show you. Uh, how it will look uh, in the end okay so what we want to do here is to have um, this kind of joint with, with this joint what, what you can do is um, for instance I, I want to bend my arm like this so I can go and rotate I middle click on the spinner so I will activate the free rotate mode, which is basically a screen space mode, but you don't have the, the you know the, the real screen space. You have all the other axes, but not the, the real screen space. So just turn on your model and, and fix the, the part you want to bend, and then you've got this. Same for this part. Okay, for example and you can bend your character. It's really useful if you want to have uh, more di dynamic posings and uh, better in-betweens. Uh, if you have fast movements, it's, it's really cool to have this. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple to, to, um, to get. So, uh, when you've opened uh, up Elise character, what you will need to do is go in rigging mode. Okay, so I can close this window. And then uh, we will uh, display the skeleton. So to achieve this, you can go down there and click on this button, and you can see um, the, the, the skeleton of Elise. So what we want to do here is um, adding a joint here and another here. Why not on the middle of the arm, um, on both sides? It's just because if I put this in the middle of the arm, um, the, rotate, uh, the rotation which will be controlled um, by this point will uh, actually move these vertices, so it will be pretty uh, weird to have uh, your um, forearm bending uh, without being still connected to your um, wrist. And the same goes for uh, this one. Okay, so. Um, so what I will need to do in order to keep the exact same position of these joints is um, duplicate, duplicating the character, so I will just clone this and the cloned character, so I have the same hierarchy I will just kick all the I key uh, controllers so I can um, just get rid of this so uh, so I can um, drag and drop some parts of my uh, hierarchy uh, with ease from one part to another. 
so first of all I will just get the arm okay this if I want to extend this window I can go there okay and just turn it to let's say frozen two should be enough okay so at this point uh, I will just need to get rid of all the child's Okay, I will rename this one uh, not wrist but um, so forearm r underscore twist. Okay, you can put the twist word before if you want. Um, and then um, I'm gonna do the same for this one. Arm r twist. Okay. Uh, just to be sure I won't mess with the other hierarchy, I will just rename this one uh, with a random name. Uh, I will get rid of this later. So, um, what I want to do now is just uh, take these joints and um, bring them to the other skeleton. And maybe, maybe not this one. So I'm just gonna try. dropping them as is just to see if um, it keeps the, the, the set I'm not sure um, so this one there should belong to um, my uh, my forearm sorry. okay and um, this one should be detailed and this one should belong to my arm yeah okay so now I have my arm and arm twist which have the exact same transform here which means that if if I switch from the arm to the arm twist I should have the exact same uh, pivot okay so here's my arm and here's my twist exact same pivot and it's, it's really important to keep this um, the same just because you, you are controlling the same um, limb but not the same uh, half part of the, your limb so it's, it's better if you, if you can have the exact same um, okay uh, so now what I want to do um, okay, so I can get rid of this one the, the temporary character it, you, you can delete this uh, what I want to do is um, take the, the influence from this joint so it will be this part of the character of course Elise is a, a robot so it's pretty easy to isolate parts but if you have a, a human character you can do the same the exact same we we'll just need to um, lock some weight uh, sharing um, to avoid um, taking too much weight from um, joints that are uh, well uh, set up so here I've got my influence so I just click on the joint and I will hit select influences vertices what this will do is that uh, it will isolate the painting um, on this part of my character so when I will uh, just select the twist and um, and add some influences I won't take influences from this part or this part okay and you can go much further if you want by just um, locking other joints but here I just have uh, two joints so it, it will be perfect um, so now uh, what I want to um, attach to, to the twist um, I, I don't want to attach this part at first you can um, imagine that okay you'd like to twist the end of your limb each time and that's not the best way to proceed if you do this um, it will mean that the child joint of your arm which is the, the twist of the arm will uh, rotate this part of the arm freely from the, the rear uh, joint which controls it so you just don't want to do this 
Um, okay, if I if I were to control this part of the arm, maybe uh, I would have uh, put a uh, a joint here, but uh, a child of this one, maybe. But it would be pretty stupid too. So here, what I want to do is um, create a nice twist. So you have several methods to do this. Uh, you can either um, paint your character and then smooth your weights. Okay, so it's the simplest method, method to do. But if you've got a uh, triangulated, triangulated uh, character, sorry, um, like Elise is, um, you may experience some um, trouble uh, having a correct twist of your joints, of your uh, vertices, sorry. So just take a big look at the edge loops and maybe you won't find them um, really good. Okay, so if you want to have a super fine um, transition, you can um, add progressively your weights. I will do this in this part of the, the character. So here, I've got my twist from this part of the arm, so I can try to bend and twist okay, my arm. So if it's not enough, I can try to be a bit more crazy with this. But always try to keep this down uh, safe. Okay. So what I can do to ensure this, instead of, you know, um, spreading weight too much. Um, this would be like okay. Uh, deselect, deselect uh, this. Okay. So now, if I paint, I should not um, interfere with the, the joints here. should be pretty fine. Okay, so now let's do the same for the, um, the lower arm here, or the forearm. Um, so here I will do the same, so select my joint, then uh, right click on this. If you want to select a joint, by the way, uh, when you are uh, with a brush, uh, you can do middle click in the, the, the joint you want to select. So it won't uh, do the same uh, as if I were not in uh, paint mode, like middle click, you know, select all the childs at the, the joint I've picked. Here it will only pick the joint that is under my brush. It's pretty useful if you want to navigate through your skeleton just visually and not through the picker. So here I've got my joint selected, I can right click there, select the places, the pieces, and then um, what I want to do is go to the forearm twist here. And um, this time I want to control a lot this part and less and less and less and less and not this part. So I'm going to deselect uh, this. Okay, so you can middle click to do a um, lasso, uh, poly lasso select. Okay, and if you hold your uh, your click, your middle click, you can do a free uh, lasso mode. Okay, so it's really cool if you want to precisely uh, remove points from your selection. So now what I want to do is um, adding more uh, weights. Uh, the more I I will go uh, to this point. So imagine you, you have a triangulated uh, model like I have here, and you want to keep the same flow from this edge loop to this edge loop to this edge loop. So um, what you can do is turn this value to a lower one. Um, basically, you just take a look at how many loops you have, and you try to divide this as much uh, to have uh, the precision you want to increase each loops, uh, the, the, the skin weights. 
and I I like to go with a let's say mm, not, so this one would be for pretty precise yeah let's try like this so here what it will do is adding weight pretty gradually okay but it sucks because you know I can add weight but I, I don't see what it does exactly so I will need to um, just rotate a little bit in green channel okay just to see how it goes so let's say I want to um, turn the arm like this and I, I will um, yeah it should be fine and then I will gradually add my weight so if I add like this it's not it's not super cool so I can go let's say like this and I want to take to keep an eye on this value so here is just like a uh, health bar uh, where I, I see the arm I am um, adding weight to and the arm I am stealing weight to so the more this one has uh, health points if I can say this uh, or it's just uh, his own weight uh, the more it will control these vertices okay so imagine this these vertices are really far from this joint but really close to this one so these vertices should be good now and what I need to do is to uh, just um, shrink shrink my uh, uh, selection so to do this, I will just use the numpad um, minus to decrease it. Okay, and each time I will decrease, I will add weights to the joint I've selected, which is my twist. Okay, and this way I can really, if I take a look at this big line here, this big edge, I can keep it um, nice okay I want to keep a good flow okay and maybe I can see that here uh, I didn't paint um, as much as I should so maybe go crazier like this yes. okay, and then we just we just try to you know, break this uh, weird angle. Okay, just by by adding weights, gradually like this. Okay, and so now I can see that the, the forearm twist is uh, controlling more. Uh, the the arm the forearm sorry. more than the other so it's, it's a bit, uh, um, So, once you've done this, okay, you've basically done your twist, which is cool. Um, you can um, select the, the arm, okay, and then the twist for arm and form twist, okay, maybe, maybe just no. Uh, select first the forearm twist and then hit shift and click on the arm okay which should basically mm, i'm sorry i'm, I'm messed up. um okay so no matter in which order you select this just go through your picker now and click on the arm so the arm shouldn't have moved uh, at all it should be under the pelvis, if you didn't touch uh, Elise, or under the, the joint you've made before uh, your 
character and then you just you just okay select your arm and you release the click and what it will do is uh, bringing all the selected joints uh, together but in the same uh, hierarchical order so if my twist uh, has been made after my forearm it will go after my forearm and that's it but now what I want to do is uh, organize this uh, better in the picker so it will be easier to select um, and what I will just need to do is have the arm twist first then the arm then the forearm and then the forearm twist so I can navigate through my arm like this really easily okay. um, if I want to pick the joint that controls this uh, limb I just need to click near the bent the real bent uh, zone okay so here I can really have my forearm and here my arm okay and here it's my twist okay here as well and I can you know, do pretty strange <laughs> arcs but it's, it's really cool uh, if, you, if you animate with this um, another cool point is that um, since I've used uh, the um, wrist joint to make the forearm twist I have the same orient as my twist so if I select both joints so my wrist plus my twist I can actually turn my wrist with my twist okay so it's practically as if you have a automated twist it's not as good as a, a real automated twist because it's not exact it's not fully exact and you have only one joint so it's not perfect for every situation and uh, you have to pick both joints each time you want to do this but uh, it allows you to make um, better um, posing better shapes and uh, better in betweens uh, in a few clicks to be honest it's not like if you were um, overwhelmed um, by all these clicks and it's also it's I think it's fair enough honestly so now what I want to do is isolate the joints um, I've uh, added so on the right side I've selected the arm plus the uh, forearm and uh, their twist and I selected also the arm and forearm uh, on the left side then I could just right click in the skin atelier on one of the joints no matter which one and select vertices influenced by all selected joints okay so again with Elise it's pretty pretty uh, awkward to do this because you can do a selection and extend uh, the vertices selection to the topology because it's a uh, robot but if you have a uh, organic character it's good to know this technique um, so now I can select my joint those I want to mirror and hit this button on the skin atelier which will basically uh, mirror the weights and the joints uh, that doesn't exist on the other side okay so again uh, now I will need to um, select these four joints so I can go in the tree which is open uh, at the same uh, position go in the picker right uh, where the arm and forearm uh, are and I will just bring the arm and L twist above the arm and L and I'm, I'm fine ok so now I just did my uh, arm and forearm twist ok and uh, if, you do, if you do this without explanation it's actually fast to do this so I will do the same now for the legs so exact same logic ok so the twist will go there for the upper leg, upper arm, upper leg, so it will be the same. And then the lower leg will go there, lower arm, lower leg. Same logic. Okay. Um, 
and I will keep doing this on the right leg. It's not uh, forced, you can go where you want. But okay, so uh, same process, so I right click on my character, I duplicate my hierarchy, I will delete um, my controls, I will go uh, to my uh, thigh, okay, and then I will need to uh, pick the joints that have the, um, the position I need. At some point, you may want to uh, tweak the slightly tweak the, the orient of the, the twist here because um, it's, it's, it's much better to manipulate something that's quite aligned with what you are um, moving in terms of vertices but it's, it's up to you, you can leave it uh, as, uh, as is same orient as the ankle but it's up to you, it's really up to you so now um, if I go uh, there, I can see that the ankle is the, the joint I want for my uh, lower leg twist and the thigh R is the, the, the one I want for my upper leg twist so I will just rename those in um, thigh R twist so again it's just to facilitate the, the, the naming um, ok, and then I want to have this one I just um, st steal the, the name of this one because it's easier to name joints. It's one of the, the biggest deal in Akitsu, uh, you know, renaming joints. So if you can find ways to avoid uh, spending too much time on uh, naming this joint like this, this joint like, this joint like that, it's, it's better. Okay, The less naming, the better. So, uh, then I will just uh, take the calf or twist here yeah. so ok, I don't need uh, the stomach I need just to go there ok and I will parent so my calf there calf or twist ok and uh, my side so I just need this sorry about twist there ok so this is. So now I have the same orient on this one and this one, which is super cool. Same for this. Sorry, um, this. Okay. Um, again, if you if you need at some point to adjust this, uh, you can. It's up to you. It's really up to you. Just, just do what uh, fits the best uh, your animator's needs. Really, pretty really. Um, and of course, since I didn't rotate too much um, my um, my joint here, my pivot, it won't be too difficult to use with the anchor. Okay. Of course, if I did uh, something like this, <laughs> it would be pretty awkward to use. Uh, I I sh should be able only to, to rotate using the rotate ball, but like this, it's, it should be fine. I'm gonna like the, uh, let this uh, as is. So, uh, now I will just go to paint in check mode, uh, select this joint, so I just click on the upper leg, the tie here, and I'm gonna. Mm, maybe. Yeah, it could be better to do the, do the reorder thing uh, right now. So I select my four joints, I move them in the picker, and I will just reorder the side or twist. Okay, like this. So I can navigate with our keys, which is much better if you want to, to be faster uh, when I, I skin or animate my character. So, uh, with this uh, side art selected, I right click on this, select influences vertices, and then I want to isolate the um, lower part of my leg. So instead of trying to, you know, reach the exact vertices, uh, vertex that uh, is inside of the the cap of the, the, the leg, 
which I don't see here. Sorry, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, um, so of course I could just do this, because I know my mother, but, but I guess you don't, and it's normal, but uh, what I could do, if I want to, uh, to keep being precise, I can go in a uh, area with where I don't have any uh, doubt on what's going on uh, about edge loops, so here should be pretty uh, neat, or oh, here as well. And I can just do this. Okay, so now if I um, if I hit uh, plus and then I'm bad, I should be able to uh, increase my selection exactly where I need it. Okay, and to be sure, I, I won't select the this part. Okay, uh, so with this selected, I will just go up in my picker and I will need to um, well, activate my twist. So here um, I will just need to focus to be sure. Yeah, okay. I added the ball with this. I just have a, a, a dot. Uh, so I will just need to rotate this first to see how it bends. So let's say we we'll rotate in a red like this. So like this. So the leg should do something like that. Okay. So let's add weights. Okay. And we we'll keep going like this. So. Of course, you can rely on the, the, the topology if you want to see how it deforms, but you can also rely heavily on the texture. How the texture deforms will, after all, be the, the, the main thing the user will see uh, in the end. So don't hesitate to, to keep an eye on it. And here, for example, I can see that I, I have some pretty bad points. Okay, I will fix them later. Still one point. Does bad stuff. Okay, so here it seems that I've got some some stuff to fix. Okay, I will go on this later. Okay, I'll just um, keep an eye on uh, this. So, 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 I have some bad um, influences here, so let's just see how it goes. So, when you move a joint like this, you can see how uh, your vertices evolve uh, from one to another. So, here I can see that this guy here is making too much move uh, compared to this one. So, I can try to reduce this, reduce it. 
or I can try to fix this using the, the hammer which is pretty good to make it so okay it, it will just try to find the best um, uh, weight for the uh, actual transitions okay so let's just take a look at the texture yeah it's quite cool so now I can um, turn this off okay okay so this will simply allow me to do this If you have some issues like this, um, at some point I would advise against uh, trying to copy past weights from this part of the leg to this part. It, it could work at some point, but if I rotate this, and I'm not sure it would be good for this part, so simply avoid uh, breaking your leg like this. And honestly you shouldn't need to do this, but more uh, this. The, the dynamic shape you can have here is really really interesting okay instead of this okay, there you have some issues good some good looking person. okay and then I will do the same for the power leg okay like this um, maybe this one could be better um, I'm not sure it's okay yes okay that's cool fine okay so now I can do uh, this go oh, maybe Select some vertices here too. Yeah. So if you want to select vertices um, and some faces that are difficult to reach, you can use the select vertices uh, brush without the paint through mode. And here I can just paint select the vertices I want to edit, which are uh, just here on the leg. And I can hit the little hammer and aim now. Maybe this one could yeah. Okay. Um so now uh, same as before I just need to uh, select all the, the joints of my uh, leg here, joints of the other side, hit uh, right click on the skin atelier and select vertices influenced by all selected joints then only select the right joints and hit mirror and then I'm ok um, of course I will still need to um, select my twist plus my joints and reorder them ok but that's pretty much it so that's how you 
use twists. You make twists, sorry. You make it. Then if you, if you need to know how to animate them, so of course it may break your animation since these are not keyed at all. So I just need to select all my joints and hit uh, the little hammer here so it, they, they, they are keyable now. And I hit uh, the E key and it should boom. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so another problem here, which is, yeah, okay, it can happen sometimes. So here, uh, what it does is, uh, it breaks the uh, reference pose, but it's not a big deal, a big problem. So if you take a look at the um, uh, skeleton here, uh, you can see that you, you have the, the base uh, reference pose that is still the same. It's just the, the new joints we've made here that are a bit lost. So what we need to do in order to keep everything correct is just go to uh, our animations, create a new one which will uh, hold a template posing of our ref reference pose, go back to the um, skin and uh, rig uh, part of the Akitsu, delete the ref pose, okay, then uh, you will see that all your joints look fine you will simply need to select everyone go there hit convert animation okay so then it's uh, your reference pose but without uh, the, the boot part okay so you will basically um, copy this okay go back to this stance pass this and then just select the twist joints Go just hide every part. So I'm selecting uh, the right part first. I reset uh, them so they are uh, like in the bind pose. And then I hit the mirror transform so I can get the same uh, result in the other part. Then I create again a reference pose. And I can convert my animation, and now the reset functions pretty well. Okay, like this. Uh, you may experience some, you may, but uh, not sure how to, some uh, bad uh, recalculation, uh, recomputing, uh, sorry, uh, adjustments of your animation uh, on um, uh, layers that have uh, additive. Uh, attribute can happen but uh, that's something we have uh, fixed in the next version so don't worry about this okay so now I just need to select my joints my twist joints uh, activate them and reset and I'm, I'm fine now and I can um, add more uh, oops should have been preserved but now if I want for instance to make sure the wall could be a little bit but maybe the run yeah the run could be a little bit better if you um, you bend the arm at the right uh, time so maybe there for example if instead of having a almost um, straight um, posing you can for instance so I like to go in word for that um, you can try to turn this Oops, so like this. Okay, 
it had it had more more um, like uh, strength to the movement, more fluidity. Um, maybe 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 it could be even better um, if you could uh, actually. But don't abuse of this too much. Okay, if your animation is not super fast, it may look really strange to do this. Um, and you can be subtle. Also, you don't need to you know, uh, bend your leg like this. It's not necessary. You can if you want, of course, if it fits your your art direction, but. It's not necessary to go this far. Okay. Uh, twist joints can also, you know, uh, fix um, bad uh, interpenetration like this. For instance, for instance, I can adjust this part. Okay, and be sure um, no keyframe leads to bad uh, geometry overlaps. So just take a look at how it looks when it moves. You have a more sense of uh, weight. It's it's <laughs> almost a, a flesh, a, re a real leg, like uh, you know, with uh, muscles and uh, stuff. So it, it's just uh, strange and and Elise, but it may uh, it may be cool for uh, some of your characters. So. I hope you you learned something and sorry for the really long uh, tutorial or tips uh, how to call this and um, yeah see you next time.